Welcome back to Learning Docker. Now in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at building our own Docker images. So last time we kind of looked at the ability to create and run Docker containers um, but we were basically running containers off pre-existing images. Now what we're going to do is um, expand on that a little bit more by creating our own images but the images that we create are going to be based off already existing images and I'll show you that now. So with Docker it's a very common practice to have a what's known as a Docker file and a Docker file is simply just called Docker file like so and it basically just has a preset of instructions to tell the uh, container what to do. So it, it can contain anything up to like install me all these applications and um, it probably sounds a lot very similar to what people may have used with um, uh, Ansible or Vagrant or something along those lines um, but yes it essentially is it does do those exact things so what we can do with this and I'll keep it quite simplistic today is first we can state an image to base our template off so in this case where our template is going to be based off the engine X uh, example that we used in the last tutorial and all I'm going to be doing is copying the directory HTML to the directory on the container user share nginx html now I have this folder here and inside it is a very basic html that just says docker page and in fact i'm going to change this to states learning docker so when we actually build this container we will simply just start an nginx instance and have the html basically rendering from our local HTML file, uh, directory. Now there is a, it's a side note that I want to point out that if you modify anything within this directory once the Docker container has been built it will not change. It builds it and it essentially copies those files from that directory to the Docker image and when it launches the Docker image it will do it against the directory that it has copied locally. So let's now have a look at spinning up our container up. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is build the container. Now to build it we can simply just state docker build. Now you don't have to do this I just find it always it's a little bit more useful to do is to tag your images. So if I for instance were to show you docker images you see these list of images and you can also see the tags and image IDs and so forth against them. Um, what is a little bit more helpful is to have a tag against them that will clearly display what they are. Now for this purpose I'm just simply going to say docker build so I'm telling docker to build my image dash dash tag gonna give it a tag and then just call it my underscore HTTP and then you tell it the directory to build um, the docker image from. Now it requires you to have a docker file within that directory for this to work so because it's the local directory to where we are I just simply state dot run that command and you get an unable to prepare context on unable to evaluate sim links in doc file um, get file attached that's because I am actually in the wrong directory so I need to cd into tutorial 02 and then run the exact same command okay so the first thing is done is gone to download a copy of nginx then you can see here it's followed the second instruction to copy everything from HTML to user share nginx HTML it's built the image and it's tagged the image so if I now do docker images we can see that my HTTP is one of our images so that's fantastic we can now use it like we have done previously so let's start by spin it up in the same way that we span up the docker container last time so we simply type docker I don't know how well you can see the bottom there so I'm just going to clear it so I can do docker run run dash d detached or background process if you remember from the last tutorial uh, port map again we're going to use 8080 to port 80 on the local container and give it a name and this time it's just going to be the same sort of thing so my HTTP and that should be okay uh, no it wasn't what have I missed uh, docker run I 
have forgot to give it an actual image that I need to pass as. So, in fact, should I give it a name? Yeah, I'm going to give it a name anyway. And just simply call it um, my HTTP container. Okay, so that should be running now. So if I do Docker PS, I should see it, and I do. If I go and check the browser, I should see it here as well, learning Docker. And that is a sim essentially just a Docker container that we have created um, from a Docker file. Now, if we want to stop the container, we can do so by simply stating Docker stop, passing the container ID, it will stop the Docker container. If you want to do a little bit of cleanup, so Docker um, images, let's just get rid of my HTTP because it's just a test one. So we can do Docker RMI, which is remove image, and then my underscore HTTP. It's got a conflict. Let's forcibly get rid of it by using dash dash force, and then Docker images. We should see a nice clean directory now. I'm going to leave it quite short today, and um, that's all I'm going to cover in regards to getting going with building your own Docker image. Um, I'll leave all the links and all the source code in the description box down below. If you have any feedback, feel free to um, leave a comment. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up, or if you want to keep up to date with all of my tutorial videos, hit the subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see you around.